more variety in the smart home. The battery-powered push-button in the Jung design controls all matter capable devices locally. It can be used to control lighting, blinds, thermostats, door locks, sensors and much more. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Meta push button, integrate it into your chosen smart home system and change the battery of the push button. Included in the packaging are a frame, one set of buttons, a radio module in the mounting ring, one base plate, a screw to secure the radio module, for example in public buildings, the operating instructions and an adhesive pad. The Jung Meta push button is battery operated and not tied to a fixed power source. It can therefore be installed almost anywhere without cabling. There are two ways to mount the Meta push button. Either using the supplied adhesive pad or in the classic way on a flush mounted box. Both variants are explained in the following. Variant 1. Mounting with the adhesive pad. You can quickly and easily attach the Meta push button to any flat surface. Align the adhesive pad with a surface on which you want to place the push button. Marking lines help you to align the adhesive pad optimally. Peel off the film on the back of the adhesive pad. When everything is aligned, stick the film in place and remove any air bubbles. Peel off the middle section of the front film. Do not remove the central area of the film, as otherwise it will be more difficult to remove, for example when changing the battery. Align the base plate with the exposed adhesive area. Pay attention to the top marking and attach the base plate firmly into place. Variant 2. To fasten the Meta push button on an application box, proceed as follows. Break out the screw holes on the left and right side of the base plate using a screwdriver, for example. Align the base plate with the corresponding marking facing upwards and fasten it to an appliance box or directly to the wall using screws. Use a spirit level to check whether the base plate is straight and correct any misalignments using the screws. All further installation steps apply equally to both installation variants. A primary code card is affixed to the radio module. Remove this code card and keep the QR code. We offer you our collection sheet for this purpose, which you can download from the following link. The primary code card is a copy of the lasered QR code on the radio module. It serves as a fallback option if the QR code on the module itself cannot be read or for devices that are difficult to access, such as lights on the ceiling. Attach the radio module together with the design frame to the base plate. Make sure the top marking is facing upwards. To add the Meta push button to your smart home system, proceed as follows. Open the app of the respective provider on your end device. Press any of the four buttons on the radio module for longer than two seconds until the status LED flashes red. Add the Meta push button to your smart home system by scanning the QR code of the radio module with your end device. It may take a few minutes to add the new device. Follow any further instructions in the app of your respective smart home provider. 
Once you have successfully completed commissioning, the rockers of the push button can be attached. First remove the transport lock and snap the two rockers onto the module with the top marking facing upwards. The meta push button is now ready for its intended use. The push button is battery operated. You can view the battery charge status in the app of your respective smart home system. To change the battery of your Meta push button, first remove the rockers. You can easily remove them by hand or use a button lever. Then carefully lever the radio module from the mounting ring. To do this, use a flat blade screwdriver with a blade width of 3 mm or less to reach into the two outlets on the module and remove it from the mounting adapter. The Meta push button has a CR2430 lithium button cell battery. Unlock the battery compartment cover by pressing on the tab on the back of the radio module with a flat blade screwdriver and sliding it forwards. Push the battery out using the battery compartment cover. Take care not to push the battery out with a screwdriver as this can lead to damage inside the module. Insert a new battery into the battery compartment with the correct polarity. Slide the battery compartment cover into the battery compartment in the correct position until the tap engages. Insert the radio module back into the mounting ring. Ensure that the module and the rockers are aligned with the top marking facing upwards. Your Meta push button is now back in its intended use. Switch lights for example or control your curtains, shutters, blinds and much more with the Meta push button from you. Thank you.